Okay, and venues. I know this was one of the questions I believe that came in. There's a lot of venues to, to choose from here. Um, so we're going to talk more about this, but you can see, um, you know, we have the capacities, we have all of this information um, for you. And we'll get into, I don't know if we should talk about it now. Um, let's see, here's some more. So you can see the setup. I mean, Muse Terrace can hold 1,100 people. Um, I mean, it's just, there's massive um, spaces here. So the way that Hard Rock works, let's see. Okay, and then we'll get into to this. The way that Hard Rock works is, this is a little different than most other properties. Normally, when we're working with other properties, you're telling us um, whether you, you know, where you want to get married, where's your ceremony going to be, and then where do you want your cocktail and reception to be? And we are securing that through the wedding contract up front. So we're securing the time, the locations within your wedding contract. The way Hard Rock works is you can put it on your form that you're going to fill out, but there are no guarantees. You just have to sort of keep reiterating it, which is what Brooke did. I know we, you know, we want this location. We want, and and that's really what we had to do up until it was only a couple months ago, where I guess they got so many complaints or people wanted the option. You can now pay $50 per guest. So you're going to be giving them your estimated number of guests. If that guest count goes up, you're going to have to pay the $50 per guest. Um, but you can lock in your ceremony and um, reception locations for $50 per guest ahead of time now. This is all within the past, I don't know, three, four months maximum. Um, so as a bride who's very, or no yeah. longer, you know, during the planning, I, my heart was set on Los Gallos for a reception. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous um, venue. Yeah. And so it was very, very stressful getting up to kind of, do we have it? Do we not have it? And I don't think they do it on purpose. It's just, you know, there's other weddings going on, other events, and it's a numbers game um, for how many people fit where. And so thankfully, I mean, that wasn't an option for us back then. Thankfully, it's an option now. I would have done that a hundred times over to secure that location without the added stress. So that's amazing. That's an option now. And especially if that goes towards that, you know, wedding cost. Yeah. So um, it'll be applied. yeah, it'll be applied towards the wedding extras. The reason that they do it is because again, this is a big property. And so they can have different events going on. Um, and so it, their thought process was, well, if your wedding ends up being 40 people and you've 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 wanted to block off Muse Terrace, like first of all, you're gonna get lost there because you don't, you know, it's just you're not gonna fill up the space. But if they have some other corporate event or a, a larger wedding, um, they need to shift or they needed to shift that around. Um, and so that's why they weren't guaranteeing that. But Again, now with that option, I agree with Brooke. I'd pay that all day long to not have to stress about it because that was a deal breaker. Honestly, you know, when I do these consults, I have to bring that up and that would be a deal breaker for some people. They would say, nope, we, if we can't have a guaranteed, we're not going there. 